Okay, see so Lindelof videos. AP calculus, implicit differentiation practice. So sometimes when you take derivatives, you can actually take derivatives perfectly in terms of x. But what do you, what happens when you have something here like we have this y squared and you're asked to take the derivative? So it's actually relatively easy. Let's just do a little practice here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take d dx of both sides, the derivative of both sides, different than dy dx, right? This says I'm going to take the derivative of this stuff in here. Just to be clear, I'm not really going to distribute this, but what I am saying here with these arrows is that I intend to take the derivative of each piece in turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the derivative of the left side. So the derivative of 2x cubed obviously is 3 times 2 is 6, right? Is 6x to the 3 minus 1 is squared, right? Now I'm going to take dy, d, I'm going to take ddx of this, dy dx of 2 y squared plus d dx of 5. So I'm taking all these derivatives. So I'm just going to bring this one down that I did here. And I'm going to start to take the derivative of this. If this is this is the chain rule, and it's really kind of weird, but if you can see it here, here's the inside part. So I'm going to do 2 times 2 is 4 for y. I'm going to decrement the the exponent here, so 2 minus 1 is this 1 right here. But now I'm going to take the derivative of the inside piece. And when I say the inside piece, I'm talking about exactly of y. So what is the derivative of y with respect to x? It is the derivative of y with respect to x. So dy dx. Yeah, so I'm just going to move over to the other side now, and I'm going to take the first derivative of 5, and the derivative of a constant value is 0, isn't it? Now remember that we're asked to find here the derivative, so we don't have the derivative. The derivative is this piece right here, so we need to get that out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to divide both sides by 4y and get 6x squared divided by 4y is equal to dy dx. Now if you wanted the derivative at a point, you would take not only the x value of the point, but you'd also take the y value, and that's what it means to implicitly differentiate that you're going to, when you find your numeric derivative, sorry, when you find your numeric derivative, you're going to plug in an x and a y value. So I hope that was helpful. Let's just do one more really quick, all right? And the second one we can do is 3x squared plus 3y squared equal to 2. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to take the derivative of the whole thing. So this is what my notation would look like. Um, my intention is to take the derivative of the whole thing. So I'm going to do that by part. So I'm going to take the derivative of 3x squared, which happens to be 2 times 3 is 6. 6x, isn't it? And then I'm going to take the derivative of this part. Again, I'm going to use the chain rule, and keeping in mind this is the inner part. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6y, right? But now I need the derivative of the inside piece, and the inside piece is this one right here. And the first derivative of y is dy dx. This equal sign right here is this one right here. And I am going to take ddx of this constant, and ddx of any constant is 0, right? Because 2 means we have a horizontal line, and the slope of a horizontal line is 0, right? So again, same thing I did before, exactly the same thing we did before. I'm going to just do some algebra now, because I'm trying to separate this, get this dy dx by itself. So I'm going to take 6x from both sides and get 6y dy dx is equal to negative 6x, right? Of course, you can see the algebra here. I'm going to divide both sides by 6y and get dy dx is equal to negative 6x over 6y. You're on the, especially on the exam, you're going to ask to simplify this, or this, they're going to give you your answer in simplest form, so I will go ahead and do that. So dy, sorry, dx is equal to opposite x over y. And if you were asked to find the derivative at a point, you would insert the x and y values here and here and get your numeric answer back. Hey, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this stuff is really easy after you've practiced at a point. So I hope that you're practicing. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.